Welcome Maltrons. So in today's video I'm going to be doing another $100 cosplay challenge. I say another. I filmed one of these. I did uh, a Fortnite character. I did Power Cord and I'll link that video down below. I did it two years ago. <sighs> yep. <laughs> so I'm one of those YouTubers. I'm one of those people like uh, YouTube's just um, YouTube's just fun for me. I do it because I like making videos and I like being crafty and I like sharing what I'm doing uh, whether it's cosplay, body paint, arts. Uh, my last video was a miniature painting. Somebody is now all of a sudden weed whacking and mowing the lawn. Anyways, I asked you guys if you would like to see another one of those and a majority of you said yes that you would love to see it, that you really liked the video and I was told that a bigger YouTuber than me, I'm not really sure who it was, they, they shouted out my video. They said they loved it, which was great. And then I never did it again. Why? I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea. So I thought I would do it today. And it's gonna be a Star Wars theme because I don't know about you guys. I like Star Wars and the Mandalorian. I need me some more Mandalorian, okay? And one of my favorite characters is Quill. I love Quill so much. For those of you that have watched it, you know why. I'm a little depressed. But I decided to do a $100 cosplay challenge with Quill. So let's see if I can achieve that, if I succeeded or not. One thing I will say, I did not buy boots for this costume. I'm just gonna use the ones that I have and that's because I just could not justify a reason to buy more boots because I have a lot. That could technically be a fail if you want to count that as a fail for not including it. But really that's up for you to decide. I just decided I could use that money to better my costume since I already have boots. So I'm gonna go to my orders though. Hopefully I have everything and we'll see how well all this comes together. Anyways, let's get into this stuff. I'll let you know what I think of all this stuff. I'm gonna zoom me out a bit because I just zoomed you in by accident. So the first item, it says, la la la, I don't know what that is. Lemverna, I guess. Oh, okay. So this is actually the scarf I ordered. So he has like a shawl scarf that goes around him. Ta -da. This is actually really big, which is nice because this is really, really big too. It's soft um, and it's kind of tattered on the end if you can see that which is good for his aesthetic. It is see-through though as you can see. Oh it smells gross but um, it would be better if it was solid and not see-through. I couldn't tell that on Amazon but it's good because he has this little shawl around him. That's not how he wears it though. And so hopefully that will work just fine. I guess we will find out when we put it all together. It says it, it was $10.69 if you have Amazon Prime. I don't know if that means it's a different price when you don't have Amazon Prime, but I'll just disclaimer right now, I have Amazon Prime. And the listing is Women's Wrinkle Scarf Crinkle Muslim. Well, uh, it's brown obviously, and it was $10.69 Prime. And it says free returns if you don't like it. So I think that'll work just fine. Again, we'll have to put it together to see. I don't think I'm gonna be like DIYing as much on this one as I did with the power cord one, but we'll see. Next little package. God, I can't open it. Oh my God. So I got the vest, because he wears like a, what is that? This is like on the pocket. Is this supposed to be on there? Because this is Velcro shut. I think this is just trash. This feels awful. Dang, that's a giant <laughs> Frog log classic vest. It's in the size medium. I'm assuming I just couldn't get another size, but I'm not very big. I normally order smalls and everything, but you know, it's okay because then it makes me look a little less feminine maybe if it's too big. This is very stiff. It feels like um, a tent material. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be because I don't know what kind of vest this really is, but it feels shitty. It does not feel good. It is way too big on me, as you can see. But like I said, it kind of helps though. It makes me look a little more masculine. It doesn't really make my arms look bigger. It just makes it look like this is too big on me. There is a small. Why don't I pick medium? All right, so as of right now, it is $26.39. And it is also on Prime with free shipping. So that's what this is. I would say this is uh, awful. <laughs> it's really awful. Uh, will it do the job? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But for now, I, I would normally just keep this on. Um, but I hate it. I'm taking it off. See, here's my baby. Here's my baby. She said, why'd you pick me up? I was sleeping. I was sleeping. She's definitely a mama's girl. She doesn't let anybody else just pick her up like this, huh? I'm gonna put you down, okay? You can have my chair back. So the next thing, gloves. Oh, hey, the inside of these are really soft. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh my God, I'm blurry, I'm sorry. Listen. I like these actually they're comfortable it says it's touch screen I remember that let's see let's see if it really is these are too big for me oh it 
really does work. Okay, cool. So let's see. Like my finger. Can you can you see the bend? My finger is not there. I have tiny fingers apparently. Winter warm touchscreen gloves, PU leather, driving full finger cold weather gloves. It's one size fit all and it's in the color coffee and they were $7.99 and on prime. Actually these aren't bad if they fit my hands better. I'd actually probably wear these in the winter. Well, to be honest, if I have no reason to like really grab or do anything, like if I was just trying to keep my hands warm, I'd probably wear these. They have like a leather in, or not leather, a soft fabric, soft, soft fabric, soft. The inside of them is soft, okay? Anyway, so that's those. $7.99 on Prime. There's also black. I wish that mine were black, but his gloves are brown. His gloves are brown. Okay, I don't know what's in this one. Oh yeah, I do because it says it on the thing. Little package. Here are the goggles. It says, whoop, that was fun. That's a good look. Does anybody actually wear them? Whoa, it makes everything green. Green, is there a, is it supposed to make everything green? Everything is green. These I like. I mean, they're cheaper. Like, they look kind of cheap. I don't know what you guys think of it or if you're an expert on steampunk goggles. Okay. But they feel actually pretty good. They are just plastic, but they're heavy plastic. Like, I keep thinking maybe they're metal. <laughs> and I'm just stupid, but I am stupid, so who knows. So it's called Goggle Steampunk Glasses. Vintage Retro Weld Punk Goggles Sunglasses Goggle Vision. Biker, motorcycle. Anyways, these are in the color silver. They come in four different colors. They were $5.99 on Prime. That's really cheap. So yeah, they're actually pretty good. I'd buy a different color of these if I needed them for a different cosplay costume or if I really just wanted to wear them around. Anyways, but I like these ones. So they're also a thumbs up for me. All right, next. It is the green long sleeve because he has like a, well, the colors kind of vary when I looked up pictures of him. It's like he just had a lot of neutral tones. So I was trying really hard to follow the color scheme. I mean, like I watched the show, but I don't remember off the top of my head, so anyways, doesn't matter. Ooh, it's tough. So I kind of hate long sleeve. I'm not a tall person by any means. I'm five foot four. I don't know if you consider that tall or normal or short. People call me all different things. I'm five foot four. I am only like 105 pounds or whatever, so I'm pretty petite. But the problem that I have is my arms and my legs are super long. So the problem that I'm thinking I'm gonna face in this, and I guess we'll find out right now, is that sleeves don't fit me and pant legs don't fit me. I, I think it's because of my height versus the length of me. I, I, my arms and my legs at least. But this looks huge, almost like it might be a man's small shirt because it's it's really big it looks like. Are we wrong? It's really soft though. Like I'm not a green wearer. I mostly wear black. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it kind of cleans, uh, which is nice, I guess. Um, it, it fits my arms. This is very rare, so I'm gonna keep this just for my own personal wants when I want to wear a long sleeve shirt because most of the time, my sleeves go like that, <laughs> which I hate. Anyway, so a, a plus for the shirt, regardless if it works for the look or not. So the shirt is called Amazing Brand. It's not a men's shirt. I didn't think it was because of the neck, but just the, the, how big it seemed to be. And it is pretty big because I got a small. It was $9.99, so $10, and it was on Prime. And the name is Amazing Brand Daily Ritual Women's Jersey Long Sleeve V-neck T-shirt. I think it'll work. I think it'll work just fine, so. All right, so the next one I'm a little worried about. I can see here that it's the hat. Uh, Remy Hanger Men's Women Accessory One Size. It, uh, it, uh, I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> Maybe my head will fill it out. I could shove my hair up in there. Right now it's all tangly because I didn't want to wash it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks like a bonnet. Oh my god, that doesn't look good at all. Well, put the goggles on it. Maybe that'll make it look a little better. Yeah, yeah. The goggles definitely help make it look less weird. Yeah, I don't really like the hat. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it looks terrible. Um, but we're gonna work with it. It was only $8.99, so that kind of explains the quality. In the picture, it looks a little better than it does on my head, but you know what? I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure it'll work, so. Okay, so then we have this. Oh, oh, it's supposed to be, he has like, I think it's on his arm. Yeah, I had to look up a reference photo again. These are like leather arm straps deals because he has those. I didn't know there was two of them. I didn't know it was a two-piece thing. Because I think I only need one. Do I need two? Ooh, I don't know. I mean, aside from being a little bit, like this is actually, I, I like it already. 
I don't want to buckle them quite right now, but like, that's not bad. A little extra detail on like a costume, like I think that's pretty good. So yeah, these seem pretty good. Um, again, like I would probably wear this on a daily basis if it was black, but because he wore like mainly neutral colors, I just went with a neutral tone. Men's genuine leather wide band homemade triple strap cuff medieval wrap gauntlet wristband buckle fastening arm armor cuff. It does come in black, so if I like them. Eleven ninety nine on Prime. Not bad. I think that's a that's a good that's a go. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, and I think this is the last thing for him, so hopefully I got everything I want. These are the pants that are like an army green kind of a color. So I can't really say just yet if these are gonna work. Oh, I know. I think that they will. I definitely probably will not wear these on a normal basis. It's not my style. As for this costume, it looks like it might work. They look like maybe they might be too big on me with this. Uh, depending on where it hits, I guess if I pull them down lower, it'll be fine. Let me put all this together. Let me put it all on and then we'll see if I achieved a quill costume. And I'm going to make a second video, just so you guys know, where I'm going to actually do a body paint of of me, so I'll be using some of these props and then making myself look like Quill officially. And if you like to check that out, then you have to check out the next video I post. So be sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you know when it goes live, and yeah. But other than that, let's get all this on and we'll see if I achieved Quill's look. I like it, you look like an old pilot. So my biggest thing is first off, these gloves are way too big for me. Is that obvious? No. Is it? Not really. Um, and this thingy is terrible. I think this is what smells like a Halloween costume. Probably. And the hat does not fit me, but I think that's the fault of my tiny head. Since yeah, you do have a tiny I head. Have a skinny, skinny head, so I think that's the problem. And I, the goggles are okay. I like the goggles. They do look pretty sweet. Sweet. You could probably paint those and make them look old. Huh? You could probably paint those and make them look oh, old yeah. well, for like another project. Oh yeah, well, DIY that you could do with this whole thing to make it look better. Oh, and the boots I did not buy. I already had these. <laughs> <laughs> I feel laughing because I'm like. That's yeah, how let you me. Want. That's how you display <laughs> boots. I often do that until I pull the hamstring. I, there, you, that's the look. It's too big for me. It just doesn't work for my head. <laughs> But as a whole, it's not a bad costume. No, it looks good. If you did some like face makeup or something of that sort. Which brings my next point. Next uh -oh. video, I'm gonna try and become Quill. Like, makeup. Dang. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Yeah.